Sagittarius. This will happen in the next 48 hours for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Sag. Sag, these are your cards, honey. <laughs> so, Sag, you have judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Sag, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So listen, Sag, could be dealing with a Leo. You can tell me that, hey, I'm happy. I want to be happy. I'm over the moon. Or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun for Sagittarius. Clarify the sun for Sagittarius. Clarify the sun for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Sag, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now Sag, listen... You can tell me that you're needing to make a judgment call here, okay? And you can tell me that you want to be happy, so maybe going into commitment here. However, Sag, you can tell me that you're making a judgment because something was illuminated, something came to light, and you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics may be coming to an end. So either going into commitment or coming up out of commitment. Sag, you have the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Sag, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Clarify the two of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with you, Sag, Aries, or Leo, the king of wands. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Sag, this is you. Clarify the King of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Wands for 
a Sagittarius? What about Sag? What about Sag? Clarify the King of Wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Now Sag, you very well could be conflicted within and indecisive, yes? Or you're telling me that there was some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama, and you're blocking communication. Sag, you have the seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Sag, could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is She Who Knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition, but you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius. Clarify the high priestess. For Sagittarius, clarify the high priestess. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So Sag, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Sag, listen, this could all be work or business, yes? You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something or planning something here. You know, Sag, you can tell me that you're thinking long and hard using your intuition on whether or not you want to work things out with this person because it could be coming in with an apology or coming in with some type of romantic news here, okay? Maybe you have a commitment on the brain. You're just indecisive thinking about it, using your intuition. But Sag, listen, you could also tell me that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love here. Mm-hmm. But are you thinking about working things out? And Sag, you could also tell me that, hey, you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest and accept this apology when you guys aren't speaking because you could have blocked communication. It could all be over an argument, yes? Sag, you have the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So sad, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Seven of Swords 
for Sagittarius. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. Now, Sag, you can tell me we want to sneak off and have just cause to celebrate because it may be about going into commitment here, okay? And maybe you guys are planning to just sneak off and do it, waiting on your answer, your judgment, your decision to do so. Sag, you can tell me that the, this, this deception is that there was a third party here, Sag. Sag, you could also tell me that, yes, there was some type of deception, but we're working things out here. There's an apology and maybe we're reuniting. Sag, you have the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So, Sag, listen, you could have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're standing off and shunning and setting boundaries with this person. Or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. You know, Sag, I feel like you may be a little defensive here in some type of heated discussion or argument. And maybe you're blocking communication with this person. However, Sag, you can tell me you're standing off and shunning and setting boundaries with this person over some type of deception of them having a third party that they started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. And they may be coming in to apologize, giving you something to think about. And maybe you're just indecisive on whether or not you want to forgive them or not. Sag, this will happen in the next 48 hours for March the 21st through March the 22nd, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.